beginning golfer, looking for tips on general contact and low point, also wants to get a good understanding of the proper sequencing of the lower body through strike. So it looks like a fairly athletic move that just gets a little jammed up with those arms as your spine extends and jumps through that impact area. So let's go back to your setup position and before we get into the comparison with Rory, let's get a couple lines, one on the top of your head and on the lead hip. To watch as you take that club away with the arms working nicely away from your body and a ton of leftward shoulder tilt down. Now that move is usually okay for a backswing move, but watch out for dropping six or so inches below your starting position from the top. Because from there you'll tend to want to recover, pick that spine back up, and have a little opposite effect of that flip coming on through strike. So I believe that most of your backswing issue is from a reverse pivot drawn from really an over rotation and over tilting of the backswing. The model that I want to get you after here is Rory to show more of a power V position where slightly more tilted behind, pay attention to those angles how they are uh, tilted away from the ball. And let's move him first instead. Club and arms work away from the body without as much tilt down. It still will work down and away from target slightly, but continuing up to the top. Oh, let's continue with Rory first, continuing up to the top. The power V position is the hips still laterally in front of the upper body or the head. That way, when you can transfer the weight down, it's a shifting move before an unwinding rotation. And Rory is one of the best at this to clear space because he likes to play that draw from the inside. So keeping the body turns closed and getting that weight to shift forward before that club wants to rock down is a critical move to keeping things more from the inside. So back to you at the top as you're making your transfer and transition, let's make sure we're moving you. As you're making your transition, you've got the same amount of shoulder turn to the top. Your body is fully coiled, but instead of making a really pronounced lower body slide forward, it's more of a rotation which does tend to rotate that club and keep things working over the top. Now the flexed leg and early jump of the body is still an issue, but I think we can see this better from the other side view now. So let's go over here, pick this guy up, zoom in a couple clicks and ready from here. The club, when the toe is up off the ground like that, you're going to experience a lot of shots that have a leftward bias. Just through the lie angle of the club. So if you begin by letting that club sit flush or flat on the ground, the lie angle will be more upright and it will force you in closer to the ball and standing more upright. This will help as you make your turns through the swing. So here's the ideal path line with your spine angle line. Let's watch as you make that first move down with the excessive tilt already reaching the parallel position, but it comes at the cost of that spine tilting down. Now the butt tries to stay out, the right knee stays flexed, and it really drives heavy into the ball. You would be able to get away with a lot of these motions if your right knee was to kick more laterally towards target and not work as far in towards the golf ball. That would force the hips to clear out of the way, both towards target and rotationally, to not have yourself jump out of your position. So a lot of intel there. Start by working on your setup and posture and try to flatten out your shoulder tilt and stay tall. To the top of the swing you can then be more aggressive and work your body posture or tilts more downward in the downswing not having to jump up or early extend the spine but ramble on send a swing.com